Yo, what's going on, everybody? The Cool Geek here, and I got, and I'm about to do, you know it, Bill Cipher versus Goku, and I got with me my good friend, Death. Hello, I'm Death, and I'll be doing this Bill Cipher calculations. And I'll be doing the Goku calculations. Why don't you start us off, Death? Alright, we're going to start off trying to list his abilities. Why I say trying is because, here, let me let me just tell you a few really good ones. Reality Warping, Matter Manipulation, Time Control. He can learn techniques with ease, regeneration. He can only die if you destroy his soul, etc. Basically, it's pretty easy to tell you what he can't do because, you know, he's got a lot of hacks. Here, let me tell you one. He act in one of his feats. He actually destroyed the time baby with a sense of visibility, his power, as you might say. Another thing he did was his possession. Possession. He can make a deal, aka shaking his hand, and he can possess you. But if you're unaware of his laws, as Stan was at first, he can easily ma manipulate you and, and and possess you. Because he, as he tried to do a stand in his tower, as you see in Weird Mageddon 3, spoiler alert. Another one is that, once he had his time control, he now had a fourth dimensional ability. He was a third dimensional being before in a second dimension. Seeing as he was too big for his dimension, he liberated his dimension as he says himself. And now he wants to control the third dimension because he's trying to find a new home. All right, Tion, let's say what you see. What you have to say about Goku? Yeah. So Bill, as you can hear, just heard by my friend Death, uh, Bill Cipher is an absolute monster. Let's see how Goku stacks up. Now we're gonna start off with debunking a big misconception in the versus community and that's the one that Dragon Ball has no hacks or hacks resistance and that's just not true and this is a good example of that being not the case and this is when Goku reads Krillin's mind by just putting his hand on his head and he told Krillin everything that just happened and what he has to do to stop it and Krillin was like how did you do that and, Krill and Goku was just like, oh yeah, I just read your mind, no big deal. And Krillin was like, where did you pick up that habit? And he was like, I don't know, just thought I could do it. And he did. So, yeah, he does have some mind hacks. And if you're saying, well, that's just reading minds. He, he, if Bill Cipher went up to him and tried to get in his mind, he would just get molested, mind molested. No, that's not true. Uh, as you can see, here's Goku saying, so you basically let Bobbity control you on purpose, right? And here's Vegeta saying, yeah, of course, if I didn't, I would never get to fight you, right? Then you'd go back to other world. And this is Bobby being like, hey, I'm your master, you have to obey me. Kill everybody. And he's like, no, they have nothing to do with me. I'm just not going to do that. And then Bobby's like, excuse me? And then Vegeta's like, be gone, thought. And then Bobby's like, nani? This has never happened to me before. Even though he, he didn't say that. But he was just, just like, this has never happened. Bro has a ton of pride. And in case you're thinking, oh, that's an outlier, here's an uh, interview from Akira Toriyama. Say, and the, somebody asked, what is the key to winning in battle? And Akira Toriyama responded by saying, in battle, the most important thing is the size of your key and your control over it. Key as a concept, of course, includes such spiritual powers as energy, Genki, Courage, Yuki, and right-mindedness, Shoki. No matter how much you train, there are limits to physical strength, and only the way, the, and the only way to overcome that is to strength, strengthening your key. I think Goku was able to approach the the mightiest warriors in the universe through strengthening his key. So yeah, straight from the horse's mouth, the creator of the show himself, Akira Toriyama, says, yeah. He, they have mind resistance. Now, the second thing you might be thinking is, oh, well, you have to kill Bill Cipher's soul. Goku can't do that. Well, that's not true. Here's a scan of him in the manga using the Hakai to destroy um, uh, Zamasu. Now, in case you're saying, oh, that's in the manga, the anime and the manga are different. They're not the same thing. You're right. But Topo, after he got his God of Destruction form, he was able to use the Hakai, and the reason he was able to do that, as his 
Kaioshin states, he is a candidate to be the god of destruction of his universe. And, uh, Goku is also a candidate to be god of destruction, but for his own universe, as Whis offered both Vegeta and Goku the position of god of destruction. And as you can see, yes, Topol can use the Hakai. And, um, that didn't one-shot Frieza, um, and this is actually a scan of Frieza saying, I've experienced the power of destruction, and then here's him shrugging it off and just condensing it. He sweated a little bit, but it wasn't too much of a big deal. And then he hears him saying, yeah, one, one hand will do to block this freaking Akai. As you can see, it wasn't just one hand, he ended up using two hands, and then getting one-shotted. And in case you're saying, well, that, that none of that proves that it can destroy Bill's soul. Well, here's the exact opposite. This is Beerus using the Hakai, with two fingers no less, to just destroying a ghost. And then here's Whis, flat out saying, ghost or not, there's nothing that Beerus Sama cannot destroy. And then if you're saying, well, Frieza tanked it, not Goku, well, here's base Goku tanking the same Hokai that Frieza tanked. He's in base, mind you, and he's not dying. He's he's having a bit of trouble, but keep in mind, base, I mean, base Goku's tanking this, the same thing that Golden Frieza had to sweat to condense. Base Goku, mind you. Now, let's go with uh, Goku's power, right? Can he contend with Bill's fourth dimensionalness? Well, here's Vegeta in his base form, busting the hyperbolic time chamber, which has been stated to be infinite in size. And here's infinite Zamasu, it, he's spreading to another timeline, right? He spread it to all 12 universes, and also the timeline, right? So, yeah. And... Um, Goku and Vegeta are, and Future Trunks are able to hold him off. And keep in mind, Goku and Vegeta are in base, completely drained of ki, and Trunks is there to yeah, sure, he's in a Super Saiyan rage, but keep in mind, even if you split the workload, that had to be fourth dimensional feat, and I've seen, I, you can also argue that Infinite Zamasu, since he wasn't really trying all that hard, Infinite Zamasu as a whole is fifth, or possibly I've been even seen people saying that Infinite Zamasu was sixth dimensional. Um, I wouldn't go that far as saying that they took sixth dimensional power. I'd only say that was maybe low tier fourth dimensional. And then here's Whis feeling the energy and was like, man, that's that's that makes my skin tingle. It's uncomfortable. And here's Beer saying, yeah. It's having an effect on the present, and then his face is just all calm. Now, um, also, in case you're wondering about the hyperbolic time chamber feat, and he's like, oh, it's an outlier. Well, here's Vegeta standing in the hyperbolic time chamber, turns into Super Saiyan Blue, powers up, and not only does he bless the time chamber this time, but he his um, power is so massive that not only does it bust the chamber, but it blasts outside of the chamber too. And there's this enormous beam that goes all the way off screen. And here's Piccolo saying, that bastard, he forced his way out again. So, yeah. And if you're saying, oh, well, he just broke the room, right? No, that's not what happens. Piccolo busted the the room, you know, the doorway, and all that did was trap him and Gotenks and Super Boo inside the time chamber until, you know, they, uh, Boo and Gotenks yelled their way out. And... Now, remember when Beerus sensed Infinite Zamasu and was like, oh, that's uncomfortable, whatever. He was still about to fight Infinite Zamasu if it came down to it. Well, here's Jiren appearing and just walking, right? Basically just flexing. And he shook the entire world of Void. And then Beerus feels this and is like, this energy really coming from one warrior. Like, radical. And he's, like, crapping himself, right? over Jiren, which would logically put Jiren above Infinite Zamasu. And also, keep in mind, Jiren, remember when he blinked away the Spirit Bomb? Well, that Spirit Bomb had energy from Android 17 and 18, which, keep in mind, have infinite energy. 
Now, I'm not saying that they're infinite. I'm just saying that they have an infinite amount of energy to give to Goku, right? So, the Spear Bomb could potentially have ever-growing power, right? Like Superman. He could, you know, absorb Red Sun power, you know, basically forever. So, yeah, he could potentially get infinite energy from these androids. And then he's like, yeah, Jiren, don't regret giving me this time. Like, base Goku thinks he's about to throw the Spear Bomb at Jiren and it might kill him. The same Jiren that, by flexing, shook the world the void, right? So that means the uh, spirit bomb has to bare minimum be fourth dimensional. Now, um, this same Goku ends up going Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 while pushing that same spirit bomb that's stronger than his own Kaioken times 20. Keep that in mind. And Jiren blinks it away. So yeah, keep that in mind. And also, Goku can learn techniques like really easily. Like Goku saw the Kamehameha once and was able to do it instantly. This Master Roshi meme uh, sums it up quite nicely. Remember when it took 50 years to master the Kamehameha? Master Roshi remembers. And then Goku uses the Solar Flare. And also, it's important to keep in mind Goku can teleport. And also, if you're saying, well, Bill, Bill Cipher might not be able to possess Goku's mind, but he should at least be able to read it, right? Right? Wrong. Because, uh, well, we're talking about Ultra Instinct Goku. If this was Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, sure he'd be able to read his mind. But, Ultra Instinct is, well, as the name implies, acts off of instinct. It's not thinking. He Every move he does, he does it without thinking. Not thinking, yet not dreaming. Each move smoothly flows into the next. So, yeah, that whole, he can just, like, read his mind without taking over it? No, none of that. So, so, yeah. Oh, and also the reality warping, I almost forgot to mention, Goku has resistance to reality warping, as shown when when he was fused with Vegeta as Vegito, um, Majin Buu turned Vegito into candy, or Super Buu rather, turned um, Go Vegito into candy, and Goku was like, sure, th why not? And then he was like, he just trashed Super Buu, even though he was a freaking piece of candy, he still trashed Vegito. So yeah, keep that in mind. He has uh, hacks resistance. So yeah, so ha just the whole hacks, not having hacks thing, no, none of that. And also, Bill Cipher, he's susceptible to the solar flare because, well, he has his eye, and it's been shown numerous times in the show that if you damage his eye, he'll be stunned for a good few seconds. Isn't that right, Dad? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, Bill versus Goku, um, why don't you start off, um, Death, and explaining first, uh, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku, you know, the not mastered one, and then you can go into Mastered Ultra Instinct. Well, first, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku, I think he would do a 6 out of 10, but if we were going into the Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, well, Goku stops, because I'd say it goes around 8 to 9. Wins out of ten. Yeah, um, I pretty much agree. I'd say he beats Bill in Unmastered Ultra Instinct six out of ten, and Master Ultra Instinct he's probably gonna take it like eight chances out of ten. Um, honestly, I thought Death you were gonna be more on the giving Bill a higher edge, no? But uh, I'd say that's about right because. See, Unmastered Ultra Instinct, I put him at around mid to high 4th dimensional because, remember Jiren, because remember, this isn't freshly transformed Unmastered Ultra Instinct we're talking about. We're talking about end of series. Now, end of series Unmastered Ultra Instinct, he was swapping hands with a Jiren that was trying a lot more than he was in any other battle. Like when he was fighting against the initial um, Super Saiyan Blue and, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and then eventually Super Saiyan Blue or Vegeta. That's what I call Vegeta's little ascended blue form, Super Saiyan Blue. -er. And um, 
So yeah, he um he was able to fight um Jiren a bit more than that. So I say that puts him about high fourth uh mid to high fourth dimensional. And then Master Ultra Instinct, he went from just swapping hands with the Jiren, who was granted trying a lot harder than he was against any other fighter, but if he was still suppressed. So, after becoming Master Ultra Instinct, completely trashing Jiren, and Jiren even gets his own power-up that looks almost like an Ultra Instinct Omen, and still crapping on Jiren, right? So, yeah, I and given the lore about him surpassing everybody, I think it makes sense, at least from a lore standpoint, of him being infinite, such and such dimensional. And like I said, that would be fourth dimensional. Saying he's anything above that would be a bit of a stretch during the Tournament of Power. You could make an argument for him being low tier fifth dimensional after the tournament when he gets a Zenkai, but we're not we're not gonna go there. We're just going with you know, Tournament of Power Ultra and Goku. I'd say he wins Bill seven to eight out of ten times. So, yeah, how do you imagine the fight going? Like, what what punches do you see? What do you think Bill would do? Do you think he'd, like, try and toy with Goku, or what What do you think would happen? Well, at a standpoint, I think Bill would try to annihilate Goku, seeing him as a threat, and then if he got too serious, Goku would either go Ultra Instinct and destroy Bill, or he would try to test Bill's power to see where his limits are. Because, you know, Goku... He won't go all out, he'll try to see, try to get stronger and see how strong Bill is first. And once he notices that Bill is a threat, then he will destroy Bill. Yeah, because he probably ended up starting off in, you know, Super Saiyan Blue, and then he'd come to a near-death experience, and that's when he'd go Ultra Instinct Omen, and probably Master Ultra Instinct as well. But, yeah, that's the, vi that's the video. Uh... Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The Cool Geek out. Bye.